Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Collection Mania Monday and we have the Erogeton uh, by Tombow uh, collection today and I have the entire set and they come in these wonderful little books. Um, this is set one, two, and three. So there's nine little volumes and as, I'll show you the little books that they come in. They're not in the packages, but they come with 10 pencils. This is the Pale Tone 1, Volume 1. And it has a little elastic that holds it closed. And then inside is your 10 pencils. I have taken them out of this box. I might end up putting them back into the boxes. I don't know. I have taken them out and put them into the, uh, into the case. So let's take a look at the pencils. Those are all the the little boxes. For some reason this one feels awfully heavy. Did I forget some pencils somewhere? Nope, it's just the booklet. So it comes with a little booklet that shows you all of the different colors throughout the entire set, which is really cool. Very, very, very nice. So this is the color dictionary set. And I do believe they are a wax-based pencil. But I can't read the um, writing on these. So <laughs> I will say that they are probably a wax base. <clears throat> And, of course, here is the swatch sheet. Uh, we have our Volume 1, which is our Orchid, or, orchid Pink, um, Orchid, yeah, Orchid Pink, Coral Pink, Shell Pink, Narcissus, uh, Lettuce Green, Ice Green, Aqua, Forget-Me-Not, Lilac, and Pigeon Gray. That is all in that one book that I showed you. And then the next book, and then the next book, all the way to nine. So I have set it up in my swatch sheet so that if I did decide to put them back in the book, I would be able to do that easily. There is some really, really great colors in this set. And really interesting colors as well. There's some, um, there are no metallics. There's some really beautiful pastel colors. There are some really nice um, fluorescent colors. A great set of um, colors that you would use for woods, for trees, stuff like that. It's just a really, really cool set. There's so many really pretty colors in this set. I would, I would use them all. <laughs> I did have some trouble sharpening uh, one of my pencils, which one was it? It was a blue one. Um, today while I was trying to sharpen. So let's try that again. So this is the Lapazul. And it would not sharpen. Uh, it kept on breaking. So I think I have a broken pencil, which kind of really sucks. But the great thing about these pencils is you can order them um, as one pencil. So you can't, they do sell individual pencils. And yeah, it's, it's fractured all the way down. So it, you know, I can just keep on doing this until it's, it won't stop. because it's broke. If it keeps on uh, breaking, yeah, see. So I'm going to have to order a new Lapazul uh, pencil because it is not sharpening. And I can see all the little broken bits in there. There's a lot of little broken bits in there. So yeah, I, I can just keep on sharpening and sharpening and sharpening it, and it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to leave this pencil out so I can order a new one. So, 
Other than that, um, I haven't had too many troubles with the set. I haven't colored a lot with it. Um, I did just receive it for Christmas, uh, this past Christmas, and I have been so busy with so many things that I haven't had a chance to color more than one or two pictures with it. So I will be actually coloring more with them soon. Now this is the Huey's uh, colored pencils that we did last Monday. So we're going to color this one here with the Irojitin. Um, hopefully I've pronounced that correctly. I have practiced. So I've pulled a bunch of, well I've pulled down a bunch of colors that I want to use. So I'm just going to pull those out and we'll take a look at them. And I did sharpen them. So I don't have to do that all on camera. So I'm trying to trying to get everything or not everything, but trying to get all the colors um, both a dark and a light and a medium. Okay, so I think that's everything. Do I need... Yeah, I think I'm going to use this one too. I like this one. Peacock blue. It's kind of a greeny blue, so... And like I said, most of them have sharpened very nicely, very quickly, with no problems. I don't know what's going on with that one pencil. So I'm going to switch you over to the close-up camera so we can take a close look at these wonderful pencils. And the fluorescents aren't showing very well on camera, but these two here are fluorescent pink and fluorescent red. So we will be using those. So I've got my brush and of course I've got my Caran d'Ache blending pencil. And we're going to color this wonderful thing here. So let's grab... Oh, missing one. Where did I put it? Uh, 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 that's crimson. I need cherry red. What's the other one? There it is. And for some reason I didn't sharpen it, but that's okay. It's got a pretty good sharp. They're not a really thick pencil, but they're not really thin either. Um, these are definitely a layering pencil. They're a lot harder in the wax than most wax-based pencils. So you have to be fairly light-handed with them, otherwise you will uh, really, really kill your, your uh, tooth of your paper really quick. And I'm just putting in the first shade, I'm just doing a, a light layer, and of course after I put in the shadow areas, I'll come back and do a, another layer over top of it. As you can see, it's a nice, nice red color. I'm actually going to bring you in a little bit closer. Um, just one minute. Let's uh, zoom you in a bit. Make y'all zoomy. Zoom, zoom. So you can see a little bit better on what I'm doing. And... Nope, wrong way. Wrong way. Well, this way. There you go. I think I am actually going to sharpen this one. I think it's got the original 
um, sharp on it. I'm running out of room again. I'm going to make you all shaky. I'm shaking you up. All right. There we go. That's better. These are definitely one of those pencils that does work better after you sharpen them. Uh, some pencils work just fine right out of the box, the pre-sharpened ones. Uh, these ones do benefit quite a bit with sharpening. And I am just putting in a light layer. I'm not putting a lot of pressure down because I don't want to kill the tooth of the paper. And of course I will go in with a darker red. I'm going to go in with the crimson and I will darken up the areas where, where there's going to be shadows. And then I'll come back through with this red and brighten up that color. And I do apologize, I was going to do some recording over the weekend, other than my Saturday color and chat. However, I started feeling claustrophobic in my corner, <laughs> so I moved a few things around. I'm still in my corner, but uh, it's not as box-like. It's more of a corner now, not, not a box. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the crimson which is a darker red, a deeper red. And I'm going to do in the shadow areas. So I will be um, doing some extra videos this week uh, for the stuff that I received in the post last week that I didn't get to because of COVID shot. I'm feeling much better. My husband is feeling 110% better. And my arm doesn't hurt no more. So that's all good. Now I go in for my second one on the 20th. So I may not um, be available for the Wednesday, uh, Thursday and Friday videos for that week either um, with the, the way that my husband reacted to it and he's very healthy um, tells me I might not uh, I might not do so well with it I'm not all that healthy so we will see we will see you never know, my immune system may be already beating things up, so it might just decide, well, there's one more. I don't get sick per se. I have some intestinal issues that my body is constantly fighting, so. All right. So almost done with these shadow areas. And like I said, it's just light little layers. And once you, you get your layers down, and then blend them together. It, uh, th they're a really nice pencil. I was a little surprised on how hard they are, but, but it's not so hard that you don't get any color out of them. All right, so I'm just gonna go 
back over it with the cherry red. And blend it all in. I of course leave some areas for <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. Leave some areas where the light's going to hit. And of course my hand's in your way. It's the only thing about having it so close up is you see the back of my hand quite a bit. <laughs> Okay, so there's our reds. Now I'm going to actually take this fluorescent red here and see if we can give a bit of a that looks good. Like that. Just brightens it up a little bit. actually like the look of that. All right. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay. So we've added a bit of fluorescence to it. <laughs> All right. So I don't have any metallics in this set. So we're going to actually use some pale colors and pale tones as well as our fluorescence for the embellishments on the heart itself. So I'm using this fluorescent pink. And this is called Plastic Pink. And I'm putting it down first because it uh, does have a tendency to um, wash out any of the other colors. So I'm going to put it down, put down the other colors, and then redo it. All right, so now I'm going to use, what's this one, Almond Blossom. And I'm not going to go right over top of that plastic pink. I'm just going to touch it and blend it in. And I'm going to turn you a little bit so that I'm not completely blocking the camera. Now I am using a bit of a harder hand on this because these are just the, the only two colors I'm going to use on this area. And of course, you know, the plastic pink is not showing on the camera. I don't know what it is with fluorescent colors, but they don't show on camera very well. very strange. Okay. I'm going to go back into it with the almond blossom. And just blend it together. All right. <coughs> Now I'm going to take this yellow. So I'm going to use this light yellow. And it is uh, Narcissus. 
Narcissus. Um, I probably can't say it right. And it's a very, very, very pale yellow. Narcissus. My goodness, my autofocus is on. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot the autofocus was on. So hopefully it doesn't do that too often. New program. <laughs> I was having some major issues with my old program, so I started using this new program. So I'm hoping that uh, I won't have as many issues as I was before. <clears throat> but I keep on forgetting to turn off the autofocus. So I'm actually going to turn that off because I don't want to you know, make you all sick. So hold on a sec. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, of course, the train's going by right at that time. There you go. And the train's going to shake you up a little. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to use uh, this one, I think it is. Surprise red. And the surprise is, is it's uh, actually very pink. <laughs> it's actually a, a fluorescent red, which is The fluorescents I find are really um, they take a lot of layering to get a really good amount of color out of them. Alright. Now we're going to take our orange and this is tangerine orange. And we're just going to give a little bit of edge here. Just like that. And we'll blend it in with that light yellow again. Now I could probably just blend it in with the blending pencil, but um, let me see, let me see. So I want this one and this one. <clears throat> oh, I didn't pull any purples. I need some purples. Because it does have a really nice set of purples in it. I don't know why I didn't pull any purples. It's usually the first color I pull. <laughs> I got sidetracked by the fluorescence, I think. Now that's a, a light blue, which is the forget-me-not blue. And I'm going in with the peacock blue. I think this is ple yeah, peacock blue. Not to be mixed with the peacock green because it does have both, I do believe, if I remember correctly. I'm just going to blend that in with the forget-me-not. And then we're going to grab some purples. Where are some purples? I need a dark and a light purple. So I'm going to grab lilac 
and I'm going to grab iris iris violet and I'm going to shake you up because I got to sharpen them shaky 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 uh, sorry so there's our dark and this is going to be our light I'm trying really hard not to shake you all up all right so I'm going to take the lilac such a nice pastel purple they do have a learning curve um, you know if you're not used to layering pencils like when I very first bought the first set I bought a really small set of just the pastel colors and I didn't like them I really didn't like them um, until I watched a couple of videos of people that were using them and getting really really pretty pretty results and I couldn't even get color out of the things I was horrified that you know what could I have possibly been doing wrong <laughs> and it was because I was trying to get as much color out as quickly as possible and like I said these are definitely a layering pencil if you put too much pressure on um, you're gonna damage the paper and you're not going to get any more color out of that pencil they do require a nice toothy paper which of course I'm not using because you know that would have been smart of me but this is a 67 pound cardstock which is pretty good it's got quite a bit of tooth to it and I can layer quite nicely on it and get a good good range of color out of the pencils so it might be better on a toothier paper than this but I don't know I haven't used it on anything but the 67 pound cardstock and on the the coloring books so And of course I just ran my hand across it so I'm going to take my blending pencil and just blend that a little bit because I think I put too much dark purple in there so I'm just going to try to bring that dark purple down the light purple into it a little bit better there we go the Caran Dash blender seems to work really well with them. Just to shine them up a little bit and get those colors moving down a little bit more. make them a little more cohesive try not to go over areas that you haven't already colored because you will blend that colorability right out of them <laughs> I know because I have done it alright so we've used a purple we've used a blue now we're going to use some green on this part here and this is a very very light green and it is lettuce green so it's meant to be very light and then we have 
forest green. And we will blend that in. This is such a small area. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to take this one, which is Kingfisher Blue. I'm just going to color these in down here at the bottom. And then we're going to take our Peacock Blue. and do our shadow areas. And then we'll take the Kingfisher Blue again. And there we go. And then we'll take our little blending pencil. I'm going to buy another box of these. I didn't realize I was going to go through them so fast. Okay. And then we're going to do these little hearts here. So we're going to take our cherry red. Like these are really tiny, so they're not going to need a lot of layering. those all done up there. Add a little bit of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> That's what I do in the kitchen too. Add a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And it makes it perfect. Alright, so now we just got the flowers to do. And the flowers I'm going to do a couple of them in yellows. So I have dandelion here. And I think I'm going to grab, which one's this? Uh, autumn leaf. And I need it sharp because that's a really small area. I really should just clear a spot so that I'm not shaking you guys up. Okay, so I've got uh, Autumn Leaf, which is a, a nice light brown, ready brown color. And I'm just going to go into that yellow a little bit. I think, oh, I'm going to be good and pull all my colors and get them all ready and sharpen them all up. And just the same as I always do, I will go, ooh, I want that color. Ooh, I want, ooh, that'll, yeah, yeah. So pulling my colors sometimes doesn't help me. It gives me an idea and then I end up, you know, changing it halfway through or adding to it or that's typical, normal way I do things. So now I'm just going to take this lighter yellow and go into the circle here. And this is the Narcissus. Yeah, I can't say it. <laughs> and I'm just going to put in a couple of layers of this. And then I'm going to take this brown again and just go in here where the little dots are. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing with the orange. We're just going to fill in the petals. I 
think they're doing quite nicely. They're layering the way they're supposed to. They're a nice bright color. They're very, very pretty. Now I'm going to take the cherry red. And just go at the very tip. And then I'm going to take the dandelion yellow and do the center and take a bit of that red. All right, and then this one here, I'm going to take the forget me not blue. Such a nice light blue. And then I'm going to take the uh, Iris Violet. in there with some blue again. Just just using the forget me not blue so that I can blend it together. All right. And then we're going to do the center. Um with no uh, Let's see, let's do it orange with some brown. And then we'll take the autumn leaf brown. Uh, nope, this is actually crimson. Grabbed the wrong pencil. That's okay. It worked out well. All right, now for our leaves, I'm going to do the forest green. The one thing I really like about these pencils is they do hold a point really nicely. You can sharpen them once and off you go unless they break and then they're not so fun when they break but like I said I don't know what's going on with that one pencil but I'm gonna have to order a new one I may have dropped it at some point which is very possible so that or else it was the only one that uh, had some troubles from the get go, but I haven't uh, colored with them a lot, so I, they may have been dropped in the factory and I just didn't see it. Alright, and the color I'm using is Vigorous Green, which is a fluorescent -y type of green, so it's not showing very well. So I think I might have to grab a different green. Let's use, which one's that? Let me see, let me see. I don't think we need parrot green. Or chartreuse, chartreuse is a little bit too yellow. Um, oh, that's a good one. There we go. Flash green. No, that's a little bit fluorescent-y too. Um, 
and a neon green. There's a lot of neon colors in green. Yeah, I think that's... The rest of them are all very pastel-y. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Maybe I'll use this one instead. This one is lettuce green. So we'll blend it together with lettuce green and see how that works. Yeah, lettuce works. It's a little bit better. It's a light color, but it's still a little bit darker than the uh, flash green, whatever this is. Vigorous green. And I'm just going over everything with the vigorous green. Just to give it that extra little bit of pop. And of course you guys can't sue it because it is a fluorescent. So this camera for some reason isn't picking that up. So I will s hopefully be able to show you on the other camera. Once we're done. We'll just blend it all together with the vigorous green. Ack! I got too vigorous. I pressed a little too hard and broke the tip off. Trying to go too quickly. Okay. So, there is our picture. We've gotten quite a good range of colors down. Like I said, they are a layering pencil. They are a hard wax. They're not a soft wax pencil. Um, and as you can see, they keep their point quite well and for a long time. So make sure that you layer. Don't press too hard, otherwise you're going to dig into the paper and you're going to kill the tooth of the paper. Paper. I'm going to switch you over to the main camera here and hopefully I'll move you in a little bit. Hopefully you can see that green better. So as you can see here, the fluorescents are showing a little bit more there. Let's see. I'm trying to. There you go. And the colors are really nice together. They blend together very, very nicely, even with a blender pencil. They do quite well. Um, and they're vibrant. They're a nice, bright color. So um, I will be trying them on different books and that sort of thing. I'm. They're such a nice pencil. I really don't want to ruin them <laughs> or, or use them up um, trying to figure out what... Um, books uh, accept them and what books don't so I'll be watching some videos um, of people using them to see what kind of papers uh, they're using them on I do know that they um, they do require like I said they do require the layering so I do know how to do that um, but I'm not sure on you know if it's different paper types that require different levels of pressure or you know that sort of thing because I don't want to ruin them I don't want to use them all up <laughs> of course um, like I said before this is a part of my collection I received these for Christmas last year they are a hard weight wax based pencil and they do come in these wonderful little um, books 30 pencils per set, 10 pencils per volume. So um, I have nine volumes, so that's 90 pencils in the full set. 
and like I said there's like this one here is a very pale tone and dull tones and fluorescence uh, let's just throw those across the room um, this one here is pale tone deep tone a pale tone two, deep tone two and light grayish tone one this is fluorescence a very pale tone and dull tone and then in volume one is pale tone one vivid tone one and deep tone one so all together um, you can definitely find some colors are very close to the same they're different tone so they're different color different color name but they're a different tone than the color um, in the previous tone package oh, what else was I going to say other than that you know that they're a fantastic pencil um, as I said before I did miss Thursday and Friday due to a co the COVID shot and I will be doing um, a couple of videos throughout the week uh, possibly another one today it all depends upon what my day brings um, on the different things that came in I am actually going to do a video today um, that is an update video on one of the previous sets of, of pencils that I wasn't too happy with so stay tuned for that um, of course remember to like comment and subscribe we are just a few subscribers away from 1000 and our 1000 party so once we hit a thousand subscribers I will be actually putting together a bit of a celebration where we're going to have a giveaway and a few other things going on so I hope you can all attend as soon as we hit that uh, that marker um, oh if you want to join us over on Facebook you can definitely do so by hitting the link in the uh, description below uh, just make sure you fill out the application form it's just like one uh, two or three questions that um, we do require because there are people out there that aren't very nice and um, you know they they have a tendency of doing things like stealing people's pictures and posting them as their own or um, using them in things like diamond paintings and things like that so because it is a private group um, that does help us protect our members so we've got the Hueys here and it's of course a very vi bright vibrant pencil went down beautifully was layered really nicely and we have the Irigitin which is also a very bright pencil uh, and a definite layering pencil you would definitely have to build those colors up in order to get a bright vibrant color and the next ones that we're going to do what's the next ones oh the J, uh, June yeah the June mechanical pencils um, let's see what was the name on that one so the next ones are the mechanical pencils um, all I can remember is June <laughs> I hate it when my brain says does that um, June gold there we go yes so next Monday we will take a look at the June gold mechanical pencils and then we will be moving further into the more expensive things I think actually no I think we've uh, covered quite a few of the expensive ones oh, JK. Hmm. yeah I think we've colored covered quite a few of the expensive ones we've done the whole Baines we've done the Faber Castells uh, we've done the Create a color, the Caran d'Ache, the Dorrance. 
Yeah, we've covered quite a few of the big boys. I've still got the Prismacolors, the Lyra, the Sharp Sharpira Fabrin, and I think that's it in the big boys that's coming up. Oh, yeah, Lyra. I said that, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, and of course the Marco. I've got a lot of Marcos to show you. <laughs> but until next time, and until, um, of course, later on today, if I get this video done, um, remember to relax, color, and stay safe. Thank you all so much for visiting with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow for Tips and Tricks Tuesday, if we don't see you later. All right, bye-bye for now, guys.